Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. So um, the Holy Spirit led me to Mark chapter 7. This is one of my favorite stories. There's a couple stories in here, but this story I love. Um, this is the faith of the Syrophesian woman. Um, Jesus had left the place and went to the vicinity of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know it. Yet he could not keep his presence secret. In fact, as soon as she heard about him, a woman whose little daughter was possessed by an evil spirit came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek born in Syrian Phoenicia. Sorry, She begged Jesus to drive the demon out of her daughter. First, let the children eat all they want, he told her, for it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to their dogs. Yes, Lord, she replied, but even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he told her, for such a reply, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. She went home and found her child laying on the bed, and the demon was gone. What I love about this is her faith, and um, it, it, there's some commentary on it that explains a little bit further, um, because this is my study Bible, but I love that she says, um, even the dogs will eat the crumbs. I mean, wouldn't you eat the scraps under um, the master's table, under Jesus' table? I know I would. Um, but if we go over here, it says, uh, why did Jesus go into the Gentile territory? Uh, verse 24 to 28. Jesus possibly hoped to get a little respite since he tried to keep his visit a secret. But it was not long before word was out, and a woman came looking for help. Though Jesus limited his efforts primarily to the people of Israel, he ministered to the needs of the not this non-Jewish woman, demonstrating his concern for all people. And it says here, um, a link, a woman came and fell at his feet, Matthew fifteen twenty-one to 28. And this is where she was from. You see it's... Um, north of Tyre and close to Sidon. Okay, so I like this Bible because it's a study Bible. It gives maps and things like that. And it says, why did Jesus resist helping the woman? Um, verse 26 and 27. Jesus was not forcing the Gentile woman to beg, but was perhaps probing the depth of her faith in the God of Israel. Or he may have been teaching his disciples a lesson in the universal love of God. The woman's persistence indicates she sensed something from Jesus that encouraged her to continue asking, perhaps a twinkle in his eye or a warmth warmth in the tone of his voice. Um, this story has always um, stood out to me um, because of her desperation. Um, you know, she knew that Jesus was a healer and he still is a healer. He healed everybody in the Bible. And I love all of the scriptures about Jesus' healing. And he said that he came for the lost and to set the captives free. You know, he got ridiculed a, uh, a lot for hanging out with sinners and tax collectors. But he came for the lost and he came for the sick. Um, because he is the great physician. And, um, you know... The sick need a physician, a spiritual physician. He's also a healer of physical um, and mental um, problems also. So I just wanted to share this story. Um, let us always glorify God and, and praise Jesus, our Father, and um, come to know the Holy Spirit. Um, the Holy Spirit is amazing. The Holy Spirit is truly my best friend. But I just wanted to share this story with you. I hope it blesses you today. God bless you.